Lusters, I'm Daniel, this is Coral Lust, and today you're looking at one of our favorite Boshi sumps ever. Um, one of the things that makes this sump so absolutely incredible is the black and yellow. It is custom and super, super awesome. So not only is it signature series, we got the complete, we got the pellets, we got the skimmer, we got the reactor, we got it all, but we have this amazing, amazing little guy over here. So thanks to Eric. He um, put that on there today. What's up, Eric? What's up, man? He is working on a project now, and this is going to become his sump. So we are building it with him, and this is going to be a shark tank, stingray tank. I think it's going to have a little bit of everything in there. So he is taking, since we broke down the sump at my house, um, he's taken the eight foot frag tank that I used to have for the business. So we're going to set that up for sharks, something awesome I always wanted to do. And just thought I'd share that with you guys. So that'll be pretty awesome. I'm just looking around here at the moment. I wanted to show you something else. Um, this is that crazy thing that you guys saw the other day in the fish tank. Well, it is now complete. Um, I'm going to fill this up with water and sand and we're going to see what it looks like. So it should just run out of here. Just like our old sand waterfall, uh, the bottom worms tank. If you guys uh, saw that video, if not, look it up right now and check it out. It is incredible. It's the only one in the world like it. But that was our underwater sand waterfall bottom worm tank. And this is our new updated version. So sand should come out and just trickle down here and it should look like a waterfall. And then in the bottom, I'll show you guys one time only, there's the drain. That will suck up the sand, cause a fluidized bed, and get pumped back up to the top and come back out. So that's going to be pretty freaking cool. I can't wait, can't wait to uh, put that in the tank. So another side note is these are the flamboyant cuttlefish eggs. And I'm going to be watching those things really, really closely over the next couple weeks. And I can't wait, praying they will hatch and everything goes well. So, this is the tank that is going to become the sand waterfall tank, and I'm going to put some of the glow tetras in there and just make it interesting. So, we'll keep it fresh water. This was the discus tank, and this has the sump underneath and everything else. So, another awesome tank. Always love the bow fronts. This is a decent size, 54 gallon. So. I have Pauline and Julianne helping me today. They are here at Coralus. You can come by and say hello. And one of the things I was debating is if we should bring this to Reef of Palooza or not. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, I think it's pretty awesome, so I fear it's too good to pass up. So we may pack this up, throw it on the trailer, and then put this at our booth. So come by and see us, and you get to check out that tank in person. You can let me know what you think. How cool is it? And I am just super excited to show this thing off. We're taking this to Reef of Palooza with us too, and we're gonna be packing that up, throwing it on the trailer as well. And anybody who's interested, it's not for sale. <laughs> it is already sold. But, but yeah, that's gonna look absolutely incredible taking care of that eight foot frag tank. Um, that thing is eight foot by three foot by I think 10 and 12, no, maybe it's 14 inches high. So per perfect for clams and all kinds of good stuff. But all right guys, so that's our quick update. Just figured I'd post something for you. And these are the eels, they're gonna come with us. We do have a black ribbon eel in here is super super cool and the two blue uh, ribbon eels are in here so we actually have three of these guys so we will be bringing these to reef of blues as well for those of you who have never seen one feel free to come by and 